Hey, in this video, we are debugging Power BI relationships. Now, in this specific video, we're going to cover the scenario where the relationships kind of work, but they have values missing or the values are showing under blank. Now, this is part two in our series. In part one, we had covered the scenario where the relationships don't work at all. If that's what you're struck with, uh, stuck with then go watch that video uh, in this video we're focused on a scenario where the values are missing so let's say we are expecting this whole range of data and this is from 2014 to 2016 but as you can see here there's this whole bunch of data from 2015 which is just missing right so this is all you get so there's a values missing and of course if you look at this in a table you're going to notice that all of those values are showing up under blank now this can happen with a calendar table or it can happen with another kind of table with you know in this case is color and so forth and you can see the problem is a whole bunch of values showing up under blank so how do you deal with that let's talk about that my name is Avi and if you are just getting started or keep getting stuck in Power BI then this channel is for you where we focus on videos with simple explanations that help you go from beginner to pro. So make sure to subscribe and click that bell so you don't miss a thing. Also you can follow me on LinkedIn and that's where I'm most active. So we are in the Power BI desktop and before we jump into it, I just want to call out that this uh, series of questions, well, series of videos are based on the question asked by Lance about debugging relationships and Lance is one of our Learn Power BI members. If you want to find out more about the LearnPowerBI.com family, well, just go to LearnPowerBI.com. All right, so let's go into a relationship. And again, sometimes you may see and it may seem like the values are missing. Now, what I always advocate, as I mentioned in the part one of this video is that always debug things in a table and it's table at least we can see that they're not kind of missing they're just ending up in this blank scenario now this turns out is one of the easier scenarios so let me uh, pull that up all right so let's first understand actually the tables that are involved so in this case we have the sales table and the calendar table let me see if I have a layout for that I do right so the sales table is here and this is our data table and then we have a lookup table which is the calendar table now if we go to our data table this is the sales table and I'm gonna sort these values um, and you can see that the values kinda start uh, it's it's a little hard to see uh, there we go so they start in 2014 and we can see that they go all the way to 2016 so that's the span of our data values now if you go to a calendar table the lookup table again usually the uphill one is the lookup table that's how we like to arrange so in the calendar table if we look at the data well um, yeah let's sort by date Ooh, there we go well not quite let's try again all right after a few clicks and this if you can notice that this starts with January 2015 all right there you go right so 2015 so this is a classic case where the lookup table which is the calendar table in this case the the span of the date range or the data range right the key that is being connected is isn't quite the same as the data table so the data table has 2014 15 16 and the calendar table only has this data so of course the fix is simple so if you're missing something in the lookup table which is the calendar table in this case well it has to have all the values in here and it can have more so it needs to be a superset now this can potentially go back to 2013 2012 that doesn't hurt and it can potentially go in the future as well now that sometimes does have some repercussions you need to know uh, what you're doing sometimes you can see future dates but you know I often have calendar tables which go off way into the future 2020 2025 right so so this is the fix that we need to do right now so let's go in and we are using of course our ultimate calendar table if you are not familiar with that well uh, you definitely want to check it out uh, so that's gonna be on my channel the ultimate calendar uh, download video so go go find uh, this video there so let's go back to our query editor and in the calendar table we have 
let's see the start date here and I'm just going to change that to 2014 hit enter and close and apply and I'll wait for the data to load all right and now you can see that we don't have any blanks in here in the table and of course if we go on the graph well uh, you know uh, it's still colored red because I colored it red but uh, yeah you can see the data matches the expected data range so that was our first scenario I'm just gonna talk briefly about the future dates again so generally as I said I do have future dates in the calendar I like that flexibility in case my client or customer just asks me for a projection hey can you show me next year and I don't want to go back and kind of mess or change have to change my calendar table I can just add a measure which shows the projection but again sometimes it, um, it, it can have some issues where you don't want to show future dates but that can be dealt separately so let's walk into our next scenario which is slightly different so here we go to our relationship view and I'm gonna to go to layout two. Now in this case, the product table is really our data table and we have a colors table. So let's check those out. So the product table, if you go in here, uh, kind of looks like this and uh, it has a whole bunch of different data, <laughs> yeah, data stuff. Yeah, but the, the main thing is the color and you can see it's got a whole bunch of values in here. And now if we go to the colors table, we can see that this has kind of the color hex RGB and the color swatch, which is a URL. Uh, so let's see how we can debug this one. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna look at is if we go to our color table, then it seems like we do have blue and black in here, but in you know so again it, 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 we, we the the lookup table has to have all the values in the data table but again the 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 problem is the same or similar so the lookup table only has a specific range of values in there and the data table has a wider range of values so some are missing from the lookup table but again the key thing is the blue and black are present in our table we can see that right here then why isn't it showing here now I, it's, it's one of those things you 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 run into the hard way and then you know what to do which is to trim white space and that can really obviously make relationships not work so if you go into uh, colors over here we can see uh, well if I refresh preview oops well, let me close the file and and sometimes if you're really careful you can click on the value and then you know you can kind of see that there's a little bit of space there but sometimes it's really hard to tell and of course there can be other like non printing characters and things like that now generally what I do is if I do run into issues like that then I come in here and go to transform and I do two things the first thing that I do is trim so I'm going to zoom in so you can look better. I said trim. So that's the first thing. And the next thing that I do is I do clean as well, which, as it says, removes these non-printable uh, non characters, right? So trim and clean. And of course, I mean, you know, often you don't really see any difference with clean because they're not printable characters, but it's there. It does its magic. So trimmed and cleaned. And this should take care of the blue and black problem. Uh, let's wait for that. All right, there we go. So things are looking much better. So blue and black are showing up. So this is the next thing that I look for. Now, there is another problem here, which uh, as we saw that there are some colors, which are really not colors, like multi isn't really a color, NA is not really a color, silver, black. And, and maybe that's the reason that they do not exist in our color table. So how do you fix that? Now, of course, there can be two ways to fix it. One is you go back to the source, wherever you're sourcing this color stable from, in this case, it's an Excel file, but maybe you're sourcing from your uh, production system as a data warehouse, right? And, and you have somebody make a change there and you tell them that, hey, these things need to be added in the source. And then all you have to do, you don't have to do anything, you just have to click refresh and bingo, now your color stable will have that. So that's one option where you fix it at the source. The other option is you fix it in your model. So this point is important. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up the query dependencies view 
and just so I can really emphasize this point so let's make it big so we can see um, now here so so again this one I'm sourcing it from uh, um, you know well an Excel file but it could be um, uh, a data warehouse could be some other system so one option is that you fix it at the source well you or somebody who controls that source fixes it but sometimes that is not an option right I mean if you go to the data warehouse people and say hey you guys are missing values I don't know sometimes they may not agree they may see it differently they may say that hey these are not really colors they don't belong in the colors table but you know so sometimes it's not that easy or it might take some time in that case what you need to do is you need to fix it in here in your model we're gonna take a look at that in part three of this video so I'll, I'll yeah I'll, we'll, we'll continue in, in the next uh, about this specific issue as I mentioned at the beginning on this channel we are focused on helping the Power BI beginners so if you're just starting out or keep getting stuck uh, and if you have any questions let us know in the comments below and we'll come back and make more videos on that alright I will see you next time until then power on